Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the EKS cluster in the AWS console itself. And uh, we are going to create a cluster. And in this, we are going to create uh, like a worker nodes as well using the node group. For this, I have already logged in my AWS account. Here you have to type Elastic Kubernetes Service. So this is the service which is in AWS for our Kubernetes. So once you go, once you uh, go to the EKS uh, console, here you can see uh, Add Cluster. You have to click this and give create and uh, here you have to give the name i'm going to give the name as a demo cluster one and i'm going to uh, give the latest version here um here there are the latest uh, version which is on 1.28 which is uh 1.29 is there 1.28 is there you can give any one of the version Right now, I am not going to create with the latest version because in later on video, I am going to show how to upgrade this version. So for that, I am going to create 1.26. So 1.26 is supported until June 2024. And here you have to create one IAM policy for that. Okay. So this policy uh, won't be available. Uh, you have to create um, your own so that it will come. So for that, you have to go to your IAM and uh, here there are uh, the policies and here uh, the policy name I'm given as a Amazon EKS policy. Amazon underscore uh, EKS policy. EKS policy. So it's not, a, it's not comes under policy. Sorry, it is comes under role. So we have to create the role. So the role, uh, which means like uh, your EKS cluster is going to uh, access via the uh, your policies. So the policy should have the permission of uh, EKS related so that you can able to uh, view this cluster uh, when, you, when you are the user. For that only we are creating. So here I have the policy um, role. Uh, so in this role, what I have done, uh, I have added the Amazon EKS cluster policy. Okay, so uh, Amazon EKS cluster policy. Uh, go to the IAM. Here uh, you can go to roles and here you can give create and you can give any name. Um, so before that, you have to choose EKS. Here you, you need to choose EKS and choose EKS cluster and give next and uh, it will come under default. Only one policy will be there for this role. So you can choose it as a default and give next and give the name, um, any name you can give and give create. Once you created, um, you will get a policy name uh, with the uh, your role. So that I have already created Amazon EKS policy so once you created this policy come here and here you can give refresh once you give refresh you can see this policy you can choose this one so this is the policy uh, this is the role via you are you are creating the policy so that you can able to access this cluster okay so once you created and uh, you can give cluster access uh, this is you you can give as a eks api and config map Everything you can choose right now as a default and I'm going to create under VPC, which is a default one. And uh, this is the subnet and uh, you are going to, if you are giving some uh, security group, you can add it. And uh, right now I'm not giving any security group um, and give next. If you want to give any add-ons, you can give is uh, add-ons. Um, then uh, this is... Uh, uh, you can choose it as a default whatever you want um, and this and all uh, before we have added the add-ons right those version 
so this is uh, going to be the versions and uh, once you have choose everything and you can give the create once you give create uh, the cluster will be started creating and um, it will take around 10 to 15 minutes uh, till then i will pass the video once cluster is created uh, then uh, i will start do the recording now you can see that uh, we our cluster is on active status uh, let's uh, go into the cluster and uh, you can see here there is compute here uh, you can add your node group so this is uh, this is comes under self manager nodes if you are creating any self manager nodes then it will comes under here and if you are if you are making like a manager node group then it will comes under here you will create a node group the node group name will comes here and the nodes will appear here uh, let's uh, see in this uh, demo how we can do this add node group here and uh, give some name for the node group i'm giving node group 1 and uh, here also you have to create one iam role for that i have already created the iam role i will show you how to create this iam role here so in this uh, in this iam role you have to uh, attach these three policies here so these are the three policies amazon ec2 container register read only policy and amazon eks cni policy amazon eks worker node policy so these policies you can create using go to roles and here you can give create and here you can you you have to choose ec2 once choose ec2 next you have to give um here you can add the permissions so these are all the policies you can add which i have already shown so you can by clicking uh this tick box you can add this all three policies which i shown in the previous uh previous uh, previous uh, video previous on the uh um role you can you can use this all three uh things so once you created you can give next and you can give some name for the, your uh, worker node policy and you can give create role okay so once you done this one uh and come to the your uh worker node worker node uh creation and you can give refresh and uh, your role will appear here you can choose this one right so once you all done you can give next and uh, here you are going to choose the ami uh, here i am going to choose the linux ami and uh, this capacity going to be the on demand and uh, here i am going to choose the instance type as t2 dot medium so t2 micro if you are choosing there will be some issue with while you are placing placing the pod so don't um go for the t2 micro uh it won't work much so go for t2 medium or uh, some other some other instance type right so once you done that uh give next and uh, again give next um then uh you can you will see the uh review uh here i have total two nodes i'm going to create you can or uh, you will also choose before uh desired and minimum max everything and give next uh here you will choose the uh security group everything uh subnet you will choose um so whatever subnet you want you can choose or else you can go for the default one um it will for the demo purpose if, if you are using and then give create once you give create uh it will start uh creating your node group uh you can come and see in the compute so uh once nodes got created uh these nodes will comes under here till then i will pass the video right now you can see that our node group on active status and we have total two nodes in our terminal so we have total two nodes which we have created right now and our cluster is also on active status
So in this video, we have seen how we can create a cluster and node group. In next video, I will show you how to connect this cluster and how we can create pods and services using that how to access via the website. I hope this video is helpful and uh, if you find this video is helpful and uh, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel, follow for the more videos. Thanks for watching.